going on? It's your girl, that's Cree, and I'm back with another mother freaking video. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. <laughs> Thumbnail. Anyways. Y'all, I think these are my better length hair extension, you guys. Open up, open up. And I've been wanting these for almost a year now, y'all. And it is. For real, though. let's go, 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 let's go. I'm not even gonna hold y'all on a video. These are clip ins. These are clip ins. It's a full bundle of clip ins. One full bundle of clip ins. One bundle is enough. It is very thick, especially it being curlier. If you get curly hair, girl. Girl, did my hair grow overnight? Did it grow last week? Am I taking biotin? What I'm doing? Huh. Huh. Jello Beats, holla at me. They are a company who sells hair for black women. We have all textures, curly, kinky, straight, yakky, all of it. And it's all 100% human hair, human virgin hair. This video is basically going to be about the prep that I did to this hair when I first got it. You care for it just like you would your own natural curly hair. And also just a little clip of how I blended it and how I installed it. I didn't focus too much on the installment because I, I haven't got it down packed myself and I don't wanna bring you guys anything that I don't for sure, for sure, guys. But if you guys would like a separate video on that, I will be making it once I master the craft myself. And before you leave this video, girl, all oh, what of them, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl, to your girl. Give me a like, a thumbs up, because that helps me out a lot. It shows me that you support me, you rock with me. And go ahead and subscribe, because I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers, maybe even 250, if y'all like me. All right, we out. Let's go into the video. So, this is the hair fresh out of the package. It came in a silk baggie that was super cute and super convenient, because natural hair absolutely loves silk. Keeps moisturized and keeps it from breaking. But off rip, it was super soft to the touch, you guys. And without any product at all, it was super defined. Right here, you see me showing you the hair fresh out of the pack. And I've shaken it. It's one of the wefts. And I'm just wetting it with water to prepare it for the prep that I'm about to do to be able to install it into my head. And guys, look at those curls. Look at the definition. This is just water. And I was able to detangle my clip ends and my hair was clumping like look at how good this hair looks and it's so it matches so well with my actual curl pattern no product so anyways i showed you guys that clip in my kitchen because it was much better lighting but i moved to the bathroom because it was better space for me to show you guys the full process of how to prep your extensions you wanna wet your extension, each extension individually, each weft individually, and you wanna make sure you get it nice and wet in order to put the hydrating shampoo on. I put a hydrating shampoo on, girl, cause you know I'm not trying to strip these curls. And you already know, 
focus your shampoo on your ends because the ends is where you get the most product buildup and all the clunky dunk and at the roots is where the wefts are you don't want to you know damage those and cause any shedding So this is how we looking after that shampoo and we're gonna get us some good moisturizing conditioner i actually use this conditioner on my own hair sometimes it's the gardener fruities they have pretty good conditioners when it comes to moisturizing your hair with curly hair and with the conditioner you do want to focus it mainly on the ends but make sure you get in the whole length of the hair because we don't want dry curls who want dry curls uh-uh not us so make sure you get that conditioner in and you do want to let it sit as if it was your real hair let it sit for like two to three minutes it doesn't have to be that long and while you're letting it sit you can detangle your hair very very important tip you guys make sure you guys are detangling from the bottom to the roots not roots to tip because that will encourage more shedding doesn't really matter what kind of curly hair you get or how good it is curly hair is going to shed no matter what so let's keep it at a minimum After letting your conditioner sit for a minute and you rinse it out, I would go ahead and use a leave-in conditioner. I was using the Camille Rose Naturals leave-in conditioner, the hibiscus one, and it smelled amazing. It was actually recommended for this type of curl pattern and it worked so well with the curls. And with curly hair in general, a leave-in conditioner is key because our hair can get so dry. So go ahead and apply that. Make sure you focus on those ends and you want to leave this in here you see me starting on the next whiff i'm just doing the same exact process you guys rinsing the whiff getting it nice and wet adding my moisturizing shampoo to the whiff and then adding the moisturizing conditioner of your choice letting that sit in for two to three minutes rinsing that out and then adding my choice of a leave-in conditioner which in my case was the camille rose pomegranate and hibiscus and then you leave that in and if you would like you can add your own curly hair product but i didn't and just leave it out to air dry and that is it. I don't want to continue to show you this process over and over again because I'll make the video really long. But if you need to, you can always rewind this video and watch it as many times as you like. So this is how we were looking while we were in the drying process. Curls were super defined, still very soft, smelled amazing. And this was the amount of shedding I got out of the whole entire thing, which is not bad, but you know, I will say this hair does shed a lot. So if you can uh, seal your webs, I would recommend that. But as far as the installment process, I winged it, guys. I watched YouTube videos. As I said before, I don't have this process down pat yet, so I don't want to give you guys a full scope of what I did when I don't even know how I be doing it. But basically, I just take some of my hair down, put it on the track, define my own curls, and define the weft curls within that. And it seems to work for me so far, but I want a definite routine for you guys. So stay tuned for a future video on that. Um, in this video, it's towards the end or whatever, and I just wanted to let y'all know that this was day three hair, and it gets really big, it gets bigger over time, just like your own natural curly hair, which I absolutely love. I love big, fluffy hair. Who doesn't love big, curly hair? If you guys have any questions, any further more questions that I did not address on this hair, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I will let you know. So, yeah. 
that's all I have to say on this better linked hair. And I'll leave the link down in the description box below in case you want to buy some yourself. Alright, baby girls, thank you for watching. I love you so so much. And please come back soon. Don't look at my nails. Don't look at my nails.